I'm Ty Star, and I've been playing Didgeridoo my entire life. I recently got millions of views on TikTok because I can float something while playing it. I also respond to all of my comments. If anybody wants to test me on that, I bet so there's some people from 10 years ago that I just replied comments to to make sure I can honestly say that I reply to all of my comments. So. Thanks, if you're one of those people from 10 years ago and you're back watching me again, thanks a lot, that's awesome. Um, I was surprised at how many people still have accounts. It's, that's just, it's super cool to see how everybody, like, using YouTube for so long. Anyway, back to my TikTok talk about my didgeridoo talk. So, I was on TikTok and I posted the video about the, the floating thing and I mentioned that it was how the pyramids were built. I, it's, obviously, the pyramids weren't built with tissue paper or solo cups and drums and didgeridoos. Like, that's obviously not what I'm saying, but there's like some sort of vibration theory that I was honestly unaware of when I first posted my first video of floating paper with a didgeridoo. I, I, I'd never heard of this vibration used in theory for, um, the Egyptians, I mean, obviously there was pulleys and lots of work and manual labor involved also. It's not like there was just somebody that played music and then suddenly a pyramid appeared. Although that is sort of another theory that they were built in another dimension. There's so many theories that I've heard now that I've posted those videos. It's pretty fun, actually, to hear all of everybody's theories and, and, and learn from just hearing different perspectives. I mean... If anybody has any questions um, on how it floats or or how to uh, play didgeridoo, I've I've done one video so far on how to circular breathe. I I will do more in the future on um, more didgeridoo techniques because it seems like people are actually into the didgeridoo. And since I've been playing since I was a little child, I mean like it's been the meditation that keeps me me ever since I was as young as I could remember. And when I first started playing, um, my dad um, and his friend Alan Shockley, uh, he was the maker of the didgeridoos. He's like a medicine. He was a medicine. He is because people are immortal in memories. Um, but anyway, he was a uh, medicine man um, type person, and he uh, made didgeridoos out of agave. And agave is native to our Sonoran Desert. So these are Sonoran Dreamtime pipes, didgeridoos, whatever um, the terminology. There's lots of terminologies um, in Aboriginal cultures and um, in Australia that, uh, you know, they originally called it uh, Yadakis or Yuridakis. Or, there's lots of, lots of different names for them, actually. But didgeridoo is just the term that most is most uh, familiar worldwide. And I've been playing for my entire life, like I said. When I was a, a young kid, I couldn't circular breathe. It was just a being able to get the noise. And that was, that was enough of a practice for me that I, I get, getting that drone was... was um, enough of a challenge that I wanted to keep going to the next level and to the next level of, of, okay, well, you got the drone, but now can you inhale and do the next drone quickly and, and then like make this seamless in between, like, so it's just one long drone now that can go on for as long as you can manage to keep up your breath cycle. And I, I actually really love that meditation and I um so there's no way I'm ever gonna stop that I, I feel like anybody that wants to learn how to breathe and, and do a meditation of, of their own choosing is that's completely up to them even um I'm not gonna mention them yeah okay I want also I to thank everybody that's helped me like I really want to thank my brother. He helped me a lot get through the TikTok algorithm and like break through and, and like actually get myself out there. He, I don't know how he just like mentored me through. It helped a lot to, to get that kind of thing. He was also 
in the Vine with me. He posted a Vine many years back, you know, baby, won't you come my way? Everybody, everybody knows that. And <laughs> I mean, not everybody, but like I get a, a lot of, a lot of comments on from that one for many, many years. And that was thanks to my brother and um, we posted, and I want also want to thank Lacelia for filming that because I think camera people don't get enough credit. And since um, me and my brother did that together, then when we saw each other again recently for the first time since then, we did another little thing like that. And then um, on, on for TikTok, and I've also put it out on my YouTube. And everything since then has, has been... Um, bigger numbers than I'm ever used to seeing in, in, in my lifetime. Um, so <laughs> thanks again to him for doing that. And thanks to my dad for raising me with someone that would play didgeridoo. And, and thanks to Alan Shockley for teaching me didgeridoo at such a young age. And thanks to um, my wife for filming all of these new things that I've been doing lately. Th thanks to, to Casey from Planet Jam because she's actually one of the first people that I played for that was familiar with Didge after years of not playing for anybody that like I got a the didgeridoo that was originally for my sister but then I ended up with it because I was the one that really liked playing and when I eventually played for um, Casey of Planet Jam she like was familiar with Didge and was like, oh, what about this one? And what about this? And like knew the terms of like the barks and the rolls and different uh, didgeridoo terms that I'd, I hadn't even heard, but I was able to do and knew immediately what she meant. And was like, so sometimes her voice reminds me to do some of those extra barks and rolls. Um, so thanks for that. <laughs> and like I said, I respond to all my comments, so if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. If you're still watching, and you've made it this far through the video, then I would... Okay, I, I'll, I'll get you some water. I'm just finishing up. I did, I just did a video. What, what was the video about? It's still about? going, it's still going. Oh. That's the camera right oh. there, you just walked in front oh, of it. Oh, I thought it was off. <laughs> Wait, are you doing the bye-bye? Yeah, I'm doing the bye-bye. What fix? did you talk, do? I, was, I didn't do anything, I just talked. Make sure that you give that uh, um, uh, a thumbs again? up. A thumbs up, yeah. I like. Make sure that you give that a thumbs up and a like. And, yeah. What are you trying to do? Well, you can see that next video. Um, I'm trying to yeah, make it back. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Peace out.